Do you know how an LED emits light? Today we are gonna talk about LED which is known as light emitting diode. And yes if you are new to our channel make sure to hit that subscribe button for more informative videos. A light emitting diode is a semiconductor light source that emits light when current flows through it. Electrons in the semiconductor recombine with electron holes, releasing energy in the form of photons. Ok let's see the components and pin out of the lead. These are the voltage pins that is anode and cathode. This is the flat spot of lead and these are the lead frame which is known as anvil and post. The thing which glows is semiconductor dye which you can see here and it is kept is a reflective cavity. The semiconductor dye is connected to anode via wire bond. The all system is kept inside epoxy lens slash case. But what makes lead to emit light is is the semiconductor material used in it. The construction of lead is same as a PN junction diode but instead of silicon and germanium LEDs are made from compound semiconductor like gallium arsenide gallium phosphide and other semiconductor that emits light. Silicon is mostly used in normal diodes because it is less sensitive to temperature. However it doesn't release energy in the form of light but in the form of heat so silicon is not used in LEDs, so as I said LED is a PN junction diode it only works in forward biased condition. So we have to connect cathode to negative side of PN junction diode and its anode terminal to the positive side of PN junction. When it is forward biased the free electrons from the N region gain enough energy to cross the junction and recombine with the holes in the P region. Initially, free electrons from the N region are in the conduction band but as they cross into the P region, they release energy and fall into the hole and valence bond. For a normal silicon diode the energy released in the form of heat but in case of an LED the energy is released in the form of light a photon. Let's have a closer look into the PN junction on forward biasing the depletion region become narrow and allows free electron to cross the junction. As the electrons pass the junction and recombine with holes, electron release energy in the form of light. And yes if you exceed the voltage the lead would burn and cannot be used. Ok you have seen LEDs in so much colors but how does it emit those colorful lights? The answer is use of other semiconductor materials. Different colors are formed when the wavelength of photons are different. So I hope you have learned something new today. Make sure to like and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.